This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network, reporting from the annual meeting of the American Society for Laser Medicine and Surgery in Phoenix, Arizona. During a press briefing, the Society's outgoing president, Dr. R. Rox Anderson, predicted that an increasing number of laser devices intended for home use will enter the market over the next decade. It was 15 years ago, I was one of the co-inventors of permanent laser hair removal. We started out with great big lasers that cost a lot of money, took up a lot of space. There are now three or four of those devices that are approved and cleared by the FDA and in use here and in other countries for home use. Right? Where's the best place to remove hair? Probably your bathroom. Okay? And it's very fascinating that something as powerful as a laser can be used and gotten to the point that's safe enough for consumer use. We're going to see a lot more of this in the next five to ten years. Believe me, you will have laser devices at home and you'll find them to be, I, I think, useful and user-friendly, but we have to make sure we do it right so nobody gets hurt. The other area that we're going to be heading to, I mentioned a little bit, is uh, making diagnostics better. I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to think that a biopsy is a barbaric procedure. Why should I have to take a piece of you, slice you up and look at you under a microscope just to make a diagnosis, let's say, of cancer? And we're very close now. We're getting to the point where lasers for making microscopic images in living people uh, are becoming practical. And I think we'll be able to do that uh, through fiber optics inside your body. For Global Medical News Network, this is Doug Brunk.